How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to show you a killer feature right here on the Apple Watch and that is how to check its battery health. We've been waiting for this for so many years now. So uh, if we head over to settings and uh, we scroll down a bit, quite a bit actually, uh, we can see battery right there. And uh, on this first screen you can see uh, its current state, so how charged it is at the moment, so 80%. Uh, and then when we scroll down, we're going to have battery health right here. It's actually quite small and quite hidden, if you ask me. And then, of course, we can see the maximum capacity, which is the most important information. That's what we want to see. So as you guys can see, that's at 92%. And when we scroll down a bit more, we can see optimized battery charging. So this menu looks very, very similar to what we see on the iPhone, uh, on, the health, on the battery health section in the iPhone so this is cool that Apple has implemented this on the Apple watch as well uh, and I'm just gonna exp explain to you guys briefly what all of that mean so uh, maximum capacity uh, battery cycles uh, optimized battery charging what all of that mean because that's very very important of course so maximum capacity is actually quite simple it just means how much capacity it still has compared to when it was new compared to the original capacity of this device so it means that uh, of course when it was new brand new out of the box it had 100% of capacity uh, and now it has 92% of that capacity so it lost 8% of that capacity it kind of lost 8% of the battery to make it easy in the way it's calculated it's also very simple uh, and that's and that's done via the cycles the battery cycles so as you probably know a lithium-ion battery cycle happens when you discharge that battery by a hundred percent so let's say you have uh, your battery life at a hundred percent and it is charged all the way down to zero that's one cycle or if you discharge from 50 to zero two times that's again one cycle so uh, just as a reference uh, an apple watch battery is designed to maintain at least 80 percent i'm at 92 as you guys can see so at least 80 percent of the original uh, capacity after you go through a thousand cycles so uh, as you guys can see here i'm at 92 so i'm still at kind of like halfway uh the lifetime uh the lifespan of that battery because again at 80 percent that's when you should actually replace your battery so i'm probably around halfway through at 92 percent of my maximum capacity so now you understand what maximum capacity is what battery cycles uh, what they mean and uh, what's your battery lifespan as well and scrolling down a bit more we have optimized battery charging again another feature coming straight from the iphone and what this will do is every time you're charging your apple watch overnight instead of keeping your apple watch charged at 100 percent it's going to keep it charged at 80 because keeping your iphone charged at 100 it's actually going to be very bad for your battery lifespan uh, in the long run. So it's going to keep it at 80 and it's going to use machine learning and artificial intelligence, AI and everything like that to figure out when you're close to needing it, close to unplugging and needing your Apple Watch and using your Apple Watch. And when you're close to doing that, it's going to actually give you the extra 20% and charge it at 100. So you're not going to notice your Apple Watch is going to be like overnight at 80 and early in the morning is going to go up to 100. So when you unplug it, is going to be ready for you but that's going to give you a much longer lifespan just by doing that intelligent uh, battery charging management okay so now you may be asking yourself okay you understand the whole thing about battery health on the apple watch and all but i can't find battery right here on my apple watch maybe you can't and the reason why is that all of those features are only available in watch os 7 so if you scroll down to general about you can see right here uh, that I'm running version 7.0, so watchOS 7, and uh, that's why I have that feature. And if you want to install that feature on your Apple Watch as well, uh, you're going to have to have a developer, a developer account because right now it's exclusive to developers is a beta only i'm on watch os 7 beta 3 uh and that's exclusive to developers at the moment uh apple will very shortly release uh, a public a beta so everybody can use it or in just a few more months in around september uh early october they're going to release the final version of uh watch os 7 without the beta just the public version so then everyone and anyone can do it and install it you're just going to need to have an apple watch series 3 and earlier okay so three four 
and 5 okay right now the current apple watch models serve series so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this video hope you liked it hope it was good and helpful to you understanding this whole thing uh related to batteries and not only of course uh checking this information of battery health and um obviously the optimized battery charging but understanding the whole thing okay uh and also make sure to click on the card at the top right hand corner that i put in this video uh in order to save a ton of battery life on your apple watch also in the description down below i'm gonna have that same link to that same video make sure to go ahead and check it out i'm sure you guys are gonna love it so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few more days guys bye bye